Welcome to Simple Stretches for Tight Hips and Back Pain. In this video, I'm going to share with you the magic four poses. These poses are great for your low back pain, tight hips, sciatica, and IT band. Hello, my name is Yumi. Today, I'll make sure you'll feel better after stretching with me. So please watch as I demonstrate all four magic poses. Let's get started. Most people who have low back problem has very tight hip flexors here. Psoas muscle is directly connected to your low back, so it's very important to stretch your hip flexors to relieve your low back pain. So our first magic pose is to stretch your hip flexors. So let's get onto your knees and hands on the floor. Place your left foot ahead of your hands. With your left hand, grab your ribs and lengthen your waist and place your ribs on your thigh. Move your knee forward to drop your hips down. Now your shin bone is upright. Okay, put your hands or fists under your shoulders. If you cannot reach your hands, you can put your blocks or books under and drop your head down. Let's breathe into your back and put your awareness onto your right hip flexor here to stretch. That stretches your right low back at the same time. This is one of the best stretches you can do for your low back. Now let's put your knees together. Let's do the other side. Place your right foot ahead of your hands. With your right hand, grab your ribs, lengthen your waist, and place your ribs on your thigh and move your knee forward to drop your hips down. Hands or fists under your shoulders and drop your head down. Now let's breathe into your back and into your left hip flexor to stretch and see how you feel on this side. And put your knees together. Good, and let's sit cross-legged. Now we are going to magic pose two. Let's lie on your back. Arms out to the side. Bring your knees together and slowly turn your legs to your right. If this is easy, we can do an advanced version. You can cross your left leg over your right leg and slowly turn your legs to your right. Lay your bent legs on the floor. If you need a support, you can put the cushion or blanket under. Turn your face to your le left and breathe into your left rib cage. Let your whole body relax into this pose. Now you can really feel a great stretch from your hips, low back all the way up to your upper back. Now let's slowly return to the center. Now let's go to the other side. Okay, you can cross your right leg over if you like and slowly turn your legs to your left. And turn your face to your right and breathe into your right rib cage. And see how you feel on this side. You can really feel the great relief from the tension of your back and hips and slowly return. Now let's turn to your right and using your hands push yourself up and let's sit cross-legged. Now we are going to magic pose three and four. These poses are great for your sciatica and IT band. For that we need a chair so please pause this video and go get a chair for the next two poses. Now we are going to magic pose three. Slide your buttocks all the way back in a chair. Slide your feet slightly forward. Put your right ankle on the center line of your thigh. Make sure your, your foot is flexed to protect your knee. And in this pose, it's very important not to force the stretch. Instead, we're gonna use the technique of yoga breathing to maximize the benefit from the pose. So grab your ribs, lift your rib up, Ajahn Hill. Lengthen your spine and lean your torso forward as you exhale. Slowly lean forward. If this is enough, please stay here. Or if you can go all the way down, go ahead. Wherever you feel right, it's the right pose for you. So please stay there. And the yogic breathing is breathe into your back first and then into the tight areas you might have. Your breath can massage your body. So let your breath massage your body. And slowly go a little bit deeper if you can. And slowly come back. 
And let's put your feet together. Let's do the other side. Put your left ankle on the center line of your thigh. So flex your foot, grab your ribs, lift your rib up as you inhale, and lean your torso forward as you exhale. And see how you feel on this side compared to the other side. Great hip opening pose. Let's do a yoga breathing again. Breathe into your back first and then into the tight areas you might have. Each side is a little bit different. And see how you feel here. And slowly come back. Now open up your feet uh, a little bit wider than your hips. Let's turn your toes inward. Okay, put your elbows on your thigh. Lean forward and see how you feel here. If you can go all the way down, go ahead, hanging your arms and your head down. If it, this is too much, you can come back here. And let's do a yoga breathing again. Breathe into your back first and then into your hips. Nice long breath into your hips. Let your breath massage your body. Great stretch from the back, your hips. Feeling your hips opening up breath by breath. And slowly push yourself up. And let's put your feet together. I'll be posting more videos to help solve all of your problems. If you have any requests, I'll make a video for you. So please subscribe. And if you like this video, please click the like button below, share this with your friends, and please let me know which of the four poses you found the most beneficial in the comment section. Thank you so much for joining Simple Stretches for Tight Hips and Back Pain. Namaste.